The primary six uh, members, again, you have come back after talking about something about uh, something small or someone. Today we have come back with another thing about someone. So we shall look at part by part as the time continues. Uh, today, um, science primary six, as we are following uh, the work we are supposed to finish to cover in uh, term one. Today, simply, we are going to look at pitch of sound. Today we are going to look at pitch of sound is what we are going to look at. We are going to look at what we call pitch in sound. Pitch. Uh, we are going to look at pitch of sound. Today we are going to look at pitch of sound. And uh, that is all what our uh, our lesson is about today. We have seen uh, very many things about this sound. We talked about the definition of sound, we talked about the types of sound, the sources of sound. Now today let us look at the term called the pitch of sound. When somebody talks about pitch, what comes in your head? But simply we say pitch is the highness or lowness of sound. Pitch, a uh, pitch, is the highness which is the highness or lowness of sound we don't want to describe it like that you can say this is how high or low sound is we can say beach is how high pitch is how high or low sound is pitch is how high or low sound is and then we look at from there there is another term which is so connected with this one which we call uh, the volume of sound for a volume of sound Volume of sound is the loudness or softness of sound. But we are saying pitch is the highness or lowness of sound. If you don't want to describe it like that, we say pitch is how high or low sound is. That is what we call pitch of sound. Like when something is of the high pitch, when you sing the national anthem, oh, you up and say oh you gone that that's low may go the may go the body so when the more take it up the pitch is is high so the highness or lowness of sound is what we call pitch let us look at the factors that affect the pitch of sound factors Factors that affect factors that affect the pitch factors that affect the pitch of sound factors that affect the pitch of sound one one of the factors that affect the pitch of sound there is what we call the tension of the string. Tension of the string. Then another factor here which will affect, affect is the length of the string. The length of the string is another factor then another factor which can affect the pitch of sound is the amplitude. Another factor which can affect the pitch of sound is the amplitude. Another one is the thinness. The thinness or thickness.
of the stream of the stream or an object. I sometimes see things, uh, but basically when we face on this one, I uh, look at the factors that affect the pitch of sound, like the tension of the string, the length of the string, the amplitude, the thinness or thickness of the string or the object. But we can bring some illustration to show pitch of sound. An illustration an illustration on pitch of sound about the pitch about the pitch of sound an illustration about the pitch of sound that is something which they can bring and they ask you but they want you I'd show some of the things, but we looked at the amplitude. The amplitude is the width of the vibrating surface. So the width of vibrating surface determines the pitch of sound. Uh, for example, I can come up with uh, this musical instrument of mine. When I come up with this musical instrument, Uh, this musical instrument, then this musical instrument of mine, as you see it, then this musical instrument, I bring the strings, I make the first string, I bring the second string, I make the third string, I bring the fourth string. String one, string two, string three, and string four. So when you look at this, it's a musical instrument. And this musical instrument, we call it a ball harp. A bow harp is a musical instrument. It's another group of musical instruments which we call the string musical instrument. And they might ask you, name the musical instrument, say, the string musical instrument. So the musical instrument here is a bow harp. And the family of musical instruments, the string musical instruments. But we find that this is A, string B, string C and string D. Then the first question they ask here, name the musical instrument, name the string musical instrument shown above. Name the string musical instrument as shown above. So the string musical instrument shown here is called a bow harp. The string musical instrument is called a bow harp. Then part B. Which string? Part B is which string will produce which string will produce a uh, Roman one high Roman one is high pitch then Roman two low pitch Roman one is high pitch Roman 2 is low pitch. Now they ask you will produce, which string will produce Roman 1 high pitch, Roman 2 low pitch. Which of the strings? Because we look here at what determines the pitch of sound, 
uh, this part of the tension of the string, the length of the string, the amplitude. So let us look at how the length determine. You know, when this one is long and you play a bow half, the lower the string, the lower the pitch. And the higher the string, and the shorter the string, the higher the pitch. So here I say, which string will produce high pitch is string D because it's short. String D is that which will produce the highest pitch, and the low pitch is string A. Then they will tell you here after you have said name the musical is the string musical instrument. The string musical instrument is the bow half. And here they are asking us the high pitch. The high pitch is produced by D. Then the low pitch is produced by A. So D produces the high pitch. D A produces the low pitch. Why? D is short and A is uh, is long. Part C. Give a reason to support your answer. Give a reason. Give a reason to support your answer. Your answers in Part B above. Give a reason to support your answer in Part B above. Now we want to give the reason to support the answer in this part. Here we say, uh, the shorter the string, the shorter the string, the quicker the vibration and high sound is produced. Here we can say, uh, the shorter the string, the quicker the vibration and high sound is produced. I know you answer for me this one. Give a reason, why do you think, why do you think that D is producing the high pitch and A the low pitch after you, D is producing the high pitch because uh, the shorter the string, the quicker the vibration and high sound is produced. Then why does A produce the high pitch? Is that the longer the string, the slow the vibration and the low pitch is produced. I repeat, the shorter the string, the quicker the vibration and high sound is produced at string D. But string A, the longer the string, the slow the vibration and low sound is produced. I repeat by telling you, pitch of sound is the highest or lowest of sound. Then pitch is how high or low sound is. This is just another definition. The first one, pitch is the highest or lowest of sound. Another definition, if you don't want to say, can say pitch is how high or low sound is. Factors that affect the pitch of sound, we have the tension of the string, we have the length of the string, the amplitude, the thinness or thickness of the string or object. An illustration about the pitch of sound when we are using this musical instrument. I know that name the string musical instrument shown above is a bow harp. And which string will produce the highest pitch is string D. The low pitch, high pitch, string D. Uh, low pitch is string A. Or you can say, instead of high pitch, you can come here and say highest pitch. Which one is going to produce the highest pitch is string. Uh, string marked highest is string D and lowest. Let us correct them properly and lowest pitch. And lowest pitch is string A. Highest pitch, string D, lowest pitch is string A. I wish you the best. When you come back, we shall look at other things uh, about sound. 
we shall look at uh, speed of sound, we shall look at volume of sound, how uh, we should adjust.